the celebrity dating agency is back in business. And we've got a whole new lineup of single celebrities looking for love. But what can they learn about the dating game from the agency's illustrious former clients? Hi. Oh, I love love and romance. I'm all about the fairy tale dream, you know. Diva, you calling me a diva? Call me a cab. I'm about to look back at the most romantic. Do we care? Not anymore. Most ridiculous. <laughs> That's a man who's trying to not impress. And most dramatic moment so far. I've had a lot of sexual experience in my life. And stand by to meet our new celebrity clients. When was your last uh, girlfriend? Uh, boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> and get an exclusive sneak peek at what's in store as our celebs go dating. Well, hello, my darlings, and welcome back to the Celebrity Dating Agency. And good heavens, we've moved. This is our humble new abode and you're the very first people to get a look at it. I've been getting everything looking just so because very soon our doors and my arms are going to be flung wide open for a fresh new batch of showbiz singletons. In this very special edition of the show, I'll be counting down my top 10 most memorable moments and I've invited back some of the agency's familiar faces to relive the most eye-popping dates from series one to four. There'll be laughter, there'll be tears, and there'll be Joey in a swimming pool. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh, and later, there'll be an exclusive look at the brand new series. First up on my list is the delightful Fern McCann in her quest to find Mr. Wright. But when she took her Essex glamour all the way to rainy Manchester, all she found there was Mr. Wrong, AKA Tyrone. At number 10, it's our most embarrassing date ever. All right, 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 all I've already ordered a drink. Have you? Have you I just bought a porn star. Wow, that is my favourite drink. <laughs> In the beginning, I thought there could be some potential chemistry there. Thanks a lot. Yeah, this was what I was talking about. Oh, my God, no. Do you want yeah. me to do that? Secretly, you do. Poor, poor fan. Oh, man. No. Whoa! The minute Tyrone got up and did that dance... Well, I'm a little big, you see, isn't it? Oh, he's going to do it. I thought, no, Fern's not going to put up with this. This is weird behaviour. I find his dancing so repulsive. On the cringeometer, this has got to be a solid 10 out of 10. I was going to go for a kiss, then. What? 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 He's going to go in for a kiss. kiss. What, you're going to get a kiss? No. Oh. And I just don't know how the guy's so ballsy. I mean, he likes her earlobe. <laughs> oh, my God, you just stop me. that little nibble on the ear. <laughs> Then, to add insult to injury... I mean, I like big legs. It's that, that's my attack, to be honest. He tells her that she's got big legs. Fern McCann, I've seen her legs. She's my neighbour. They're not big. They're lovely legs. I think I'm going to go. Really? I don't, I'm not feeling the click or the chemistry. Thank you. Oh, you know, it took me a whole week to uncurl my toes after watching that date. And from our most embarrassing date ever to our most ghastly at number nine. When Paisley Billings went on her date with Grant, she was expecting to feel that wonderful sensation of butterflies in the stomach, but instead was faced with a rather different kind of gastrointestinal moment. I'm just a bit nervous. I'm meeting a stranger. Is your name Grant? It is. This was only my second ever date, like, ever. We doing the hugs thing? Yeah let's, yeah, let's have a hug. I had a bit of a bad experience on my first date. Paisley, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Should we right. do this? Yeah, let's do it. I thought, yeah, this is going to be the one. This is going to be good. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> my man, I'm going to keep it what I know. If you come, a bit, come at me with something like a little, I don't know what, chicken wings. 
Ron had an extremely strange attitude, a weird energy about him. I just couldn't work him out. So what, did you watch Love Island or anything, or do you not watch any of the television? Right, did you? I did, yeah, I nearly got on Love Island. You wanting to be on Love Island is like one of the biggest turn-offs. So oh, as soon is as it? you said that, I'm just like, OK, checked out a little bit, I'll be honest. OK, that's calm. Like, I never checked in to start with, so it's calm. You never checked in? And for this Love Island wannabe to walk in with all his sass and be so uninterested in her, that's a slap in the face. So what, you're 23, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So we've got a bit of living to do. Um, do you think so? I was 23, I was DJing abroad in Cabos. I was so, so patient on that date. There were points in the day where I thought, it can't get any worse than this. Have you ever heard of the Anunnaki? And then it continued to get worse. It's really strange. Like, this isn't normal behaviour. And then he burped at me. <coughs> and she goes on a date and a guy burps in her face. <coughs> Ew, that's disgusting. <coughs> Who burps at someone? Are you for real? <sighs> I do cute burps because I can't help it. And also, I don't want to risk getting gastronitis. But what you don't do is burp on purpose in someone's face. No. <sighs> Some advice I'd give to new celebs. Get up and walk away. Like, you do not have to sit there like I did. What was I doing? I was sat there eating chicken. For what? You can get chicken at home. Nobody loves a dramatic Hollywood exit as much as me. And at number eight, it may not have won an Oscar nomination, but it gets my vote in the category of Riveting Retreat. It's the moment where our delightful film star from across the pond, Jonathan Lipnicki, wanted to prove that there was more to him than just a cutesy wootsy Hollywood child star. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. The boys went away to Glasgow and they had some dates and poor Lip Nicky was so upset because this girl basically said to him that she kind of couldn't really see him in a sexy way because she still saw him as doing little. Do you know it's so hard? Like, I just see you as like really like innocent. It's just strange, like, just picture like a wee boy doing extracurricular activities. Jonathan is the maturest one out of all of last season put together. So the fact that she's calling him a kid is not OK. I mean, if someone can only see me for the child actor I was, yeah. that's going to be a huge issue in a relationship. You know when you just feel energy? And you're like, oh, God, something's going on over there. So I like, kept on looking. Yeah, I call, I call myself the comeback kid, because. The comeback what? Comeback kid. Comeback always... kid. Did she just call me a child again? I'm done. I'm out. I don't think really this is going to go further. Yeah. But uh, thank you for your time. I'm going to head out. OK, cool. <sighs> this is awkward. He just left me. Of course Jonathan was right to take offense. She called him a kid. He is the comeback king, not the comeback kid. I'm pissed off right now. I mean, I'm 27 years old. I've had a lot of sexual experience in my life. I don't need somebody saying, like, they can't see me having sex. I'm just not going to take that. I liked, I thought the date was going well. I think he just took a wee bit of offense. Well, it's, it's, it's classic LA. They're so honest to, to the extent of, like, make, don't be that honest, in my opinion. Like, lie. Next up at number seven, the ultimate dating sin, as one of our celebrities chickens out. When our new clients arrive, I'm always sure to tell them that good manners, like mine, cost absolutely nothing. Unfortunately, that scoundrel, Mr. Bear, didn't heed this advice when he took Dakota out for an Italian and didn't get beyond the garlic bread. He's just vile. I cannot believe what he did on that day. It was so rude. Bear's behaviour was so shocking. You look glamorous, man. What do you think? Honestly, they look really pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Stephen Bear. I mean, he's a different, different animal to me. He, uh, he just doesn't care, does he? Lovely pair of eyes, lovely hair. Yeah. He didn't even give the girl a chance. Have you got a toilet, mate? Yeah, of course. 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my blood heart is killing me. What was it? Two waters, yeah? Can we get... Do you like garlic bread and cheese? Yeah. Can we get some garlic bread and cheese for starters? Is that cool? Yeah. One second. Be a gentleman about it. I've got to get out of here. No, I've got to... I can't. I just... I can't be honest with you. It's not for me. I've got to go. All right, OK. Have you got a pen and paper? Yes, of course. I'm going to say... I left the chicken in the oven. What Bear did was lower than low. I forgot her name. I forgot her name. I just felt so sorry for the girl. Like, she was sat there with her water and then they brought the cheesy garlic bread and she didn't know if he was coming back. Like, he mugged her off so badly. The gentleman just give this to me. It's for you. I left the chicken in the oven. Call you, babe, Bear. Now, come on, Bear. You could have come up with a better excuse than a chicken in the oven. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I would have taken off my shoe and thrown out his head. I would have cardi beat him, literally. I cannot believe he got away with that. Bears, it seems, don't just do their dirty business in the woods. Moving on in at six, we have some very wet celeb on celeb action. Rule number one is that the agency always knows best. So I shall be advising our new recruits that dating a fellow celebrity is a serious breach of our matchmaking policy. Only once did we pair two clients, and only then, to prove a point. But it didn't quite go according to plan. First day filming, and I've walked in, and I've seen Stephanie Pratt, and I'm like, she's Reem. Just, I just fancy her, so it doesn't matter who's in the room. I fancy her, I don't care who she is, but I fancy Stephanie Pratt. You all right? Oh my gosh, this is like so nice. You look nice. I think it was cute that they got together. Yeah, Stop! I, oh, 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 what? Shoot. Oh my God. At the time, it was, a, it, was a, it was a real connection. Yeah, you could tell it was real chemistry. I can't believe you're around my ass, because like, we're just chilling. I think from the outside looking in, you would be surprised at how well they got on, because they are like chalk and cheese but it was like a weird balance. Like, when I was hanging out with the two of them, it just worked. Puff. I was driving, like, through Fulham Broadway today, and I was just like, you know, there's double-decker buses, we don't have those in L.A. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Mm. Should we swim? Have you got a bikini under that? Mm -mm. It got really, really steamy. Uh, is it warm? Yeah. Around that pool. Throw you in. <laughs> by that pool, <laughs> in that pool. Oh. It was sizzling, wasn't it? Are you going to take that off? <laughs> take your top off, start getting hold of her. Bob's your uncle. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'm just saying, no, I didn't even like, really, really angry. <laughs> yeah, I know they will be, but do you know what? Like, do we care? Not anymore. <laughs> me in that pool. It was definitely one of the most steamiest moments of Celebs Go Dating. Oh, my. Who would have thought that burgers, champagne and buses would have made such a heady cocktail? We're halfway through my top ten dates, but there's still much more to come. So what will be my favourite ever Celebs Go Dating moment? Hello, you're the, you're the other guy, I guess. And the other one, yeah. Nice to meet you, my love. How are you? And I was like, oh, no, it's about to go down. I'm a bit naughty, yeah. Don't say dress up as a pony, because that's just weird. Call me a cab. When I met him in person, it was, like, over, I think, in just under four minutes. Plus, we'll meet the agency's newest celebrity clients with an exclusive, never-before-seen look at the new series. <laughs> Sorry. Welcome back, darlings, to my top 10 countdown of the most memorable moments from Celebs Go Dating. We're halfway to my greatest ever dating moment. And coming up, we have an exclusive look at the brand new series and find out what our former celebrities think of our new intake as they begin their search for love. But before all that, let's enjoy some more moments hand-picked by moi. At number five in our list, it's a case of two girls one Sam. When charming Chelsea chap Sam Thompson found love not once, 
but twice he took two dates to Cape Verde, which spelled double trouble. I was saying to the agents that I wanted just to get to know both girls. I wanted to have my cake and eat it, mate, for as long as possible. <laughs> oh, I'm getting in. Hello, Sam. Oh, I, I, I want to be, be honest with you about something as well. Um, there is someone else that I've been dating out here. Oh, Amelia with an E. I'll never forget her. It's Amelia, OK? I'm in. OK, here we go. Oh, my God. I was there when this happened. The entire island of Cape Verde went silent. So now you're here, mm. eventually. I just I, I want to be, be honest with you about something quickly. Um, there is... There is another girl here who I've been on a date with. Sam. Hello, are you the, you're the other guy, I guess? I'm the other one, Amelia, yeah. Amelia, nice to meet you, my love. How are you? Good. Lovely to meet my love. <laughs> so, Tammy, Amelia, Amelia, Tammy. Um... And I was like, oh, no, it's about to go down. And I made sure I was right at the front. All I can say is that I really like you guys. I really like spending time with you guys, and I hope you guys feel the same. No. <laughs> I'm laughing. I shouldn't be laughing because it was sad for him. It was... <laughs> I shouldn't... I'd, I'd, I'd really, really, really like to take both of you on one more day just to enjoy where we are and see where we go from there, but obviously it's completely down to you guys. That's all I can really say. Sam is the smoothest guy in the game. The fact both girls agreed to still go on a date with him when they were both invited to Cape Verde blows my mind. Sliding, so how are you? I quite like to kiss. The thing about Sam is he loves a snog. He's, he, he likes to kiss the ladies. Who was my favourite? Amelia with an E. If anyone's going to do it this season, I'd say, um... I'd say do it. <laughs> do it, it was great fun. At four, it's a disaster in dining etiquette. On a date, one should be hungry for love and nothing else. So when one finds oneself fine dining, one should really be drooling over the beautiful lady one is with, rather than over one's food. I think we've already told us some food. Arge loves his food. There could be Claudia Schiffer and a fillet steak, and Arge would take the food over Claudia Schiffer. What's your favourite cuisine of food, then? Curry's my favourite, number one. Yeah. I do quite like, like, Turkish and... I like all food, to be honest with you. Pie mash, Italians, Chinese, roast dinners, barbecue. Bit just like literally come out of his mouth. I don't understand why he spat through a, mount, a load of leaves in his mouth. It's just, it's just filth, filthy geezer. And you just see loads of saliva going out of his mouth, and he kind of looks around. He's like, did anyone see that? And then he just carries on shoveling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, but for some reason I really dribbled badly. I think I dribbled quite badly onto my plate, and I don't know why. Archie's too honest for his own good. He could have stole that one out the bag and she would have never have known. I think my mouth's got a lot of saliva in it and I don't understand. To be fair, he still does it now. Nothing's changed. Next, at number three, a cougar encounter turns into a load of old pony. Joey, a light will shine for you forever in my heart. What you may lack in book smarts, you make up for in boyish charm. Oh, and it was that particular characteristic that led us to sending him on a date with Izzy, the incorrigible cougar. People think I'm stupid, but I, I think I knew what a cougar was. You right, babe? Joey and a cougar doesn't really cut it for me. I've never seen a dress like that in my life. Are they like leather straps? I don't know whether you could tie it a bit tighter. How do you slip that on? How do you pull it on? It's actually scary. Well, I'll just take it off to be more interesting. Yeah. If I'm scared, Joey must have been petrified. 
You look like an obedient boy. That's going to do as you told. <laughs> You'd basically, like, rough me up. <laughs> I'm a bit naughty, yeah. yeah Having right. a little pony outfit. Don't say dress up as a pony, because that's just weird. What do you mean by pony outfit? Just have little jumps, where you have to do go over the jumps to win a sugar cube. Joey the pony. Joey the pony for me, no, no, no. 100% Joey would not have been able to handle Izzy. No one could handle Izzy by the looks of it. We just need to leave her doing her jumps and feeding sugar cubes to randoms. My professionalism um, for any celebs coming into Celebs Go Dating um, would purely be, I mean, if he was going to date a cougar, um, would just be like, you know, respect the cougar. They've been there, they've done it. Ooh, nice, really nice. Are they... Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Oh, sorry. Later. OK, bye-bye. See you later. Giddy up is all that I can say. We're getting ever closer to revealing my number one date. And at number two, it's my very favourite coming-of-age moment as the innocent, wide-eyed and even wider-haired Perry finally finds somebody to slurp his milkshake with. And no. That's not a euphemism. When, when Perry first started the agency, um, he was, he, he, you know, he, he was very shy. He's not a player. He's a normal, nice, um, genuine, lovely boy. See you later. See you later. Bye. Just mug me off. He just hasn't really been around the block, I suppose. He had to have someone to sort of, you know, help him out. So I was there for him. You know what to do as well, be, be completely honest, is just go up to her when you talk to her, just be like, look, listen, mate. Just have to literally tell the complete truth. Cool. You know this little Bambi, yeah? When, like, the little deer finally learns to stand up. Oh, so, oh, bless him. Oh, he doesn't know how to talk to girls. Oh, he's so cute. And then he just flourished into this beautiful grown man slash deer. Hi. Hi. How are you? Sweet you. What's your name? Poppy. Poppy. <laughs> Perry, Poppy, Perry. It means something, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You look lovely. Oh, thank you. If it was cool with you, I was wondering if you'd want to go on a date. Wicked, yeah. yeah, I don't want to put you on the no, spot. No, no, yeah, wicked. Yeah, I'd like yeah? to go on a date with you, yeah. All right, then, well, I'll see you on the date. I'll see you on the date. Perry's journey in the agency was amazing because he went from a boy to a man, which I think is amazing, really. I mean, everyone I've seen in the agency, he, I feel like he definitely took the most away from it. And obviously, I took a good friend away from it, so it was brilliant. He's sexy. Like, I would. And I wouldn't before, and I, I would now. Perry, hey, hey. I'm sure he's taken, but hey. <laughs> So here we are at the pinnacle of my countdown, my favourite ever celebs go dating moment. And what a wonderfully brief moment it was when Towie powerhouse Gemma Collins met the frightfully stern looking Terry and took speed dating to a whole new level. Our number one clip is a celebs go dating record breaker, our shortest date ever. Being Tom's number one moment just yeah, has made my life. It had to go to me, really. There is no question about it. Gemma deserves the top spot on Tom's list. The J say. I am gonna be late, but it's all for his benefit. JC does what the JC does. He did look quite a soul, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a proper old school geezer. Loyalty, respect, you know what I mean? Put your belt on, polish your shoes, sort of bloke. To be honest, Terry was quite fit. He had that doorman bouncer sheet going on. Bit tanned, had a rugged look about him. Jet down some coat, please. Does he look good? He look good. Always a double, mate. Double. <laughs> you, know the, <laughs> you know the rules. However, when I met him in person, it was like over, I think, in just under four minutes. Please take a seat. How are you? How's that? How are you? Sorry I'm late, mate. I've had a shoot with the sun. Bloody hell. Are you okay? I'm right, yeah, I'm pissing. Oh yeah, what have you been drinking? I'm dried in coke. Oh. So sorry I'm late. I have such a manic lifestyle. Just when I'm on a shoot, like everything always runs late. And like there's so much traffic in London. You could get yourself on a cup together, now you're I know. Terry's attitude stunk. He obviously had had a few too many. Mate, you're pissed, didn't you? And they've got yeah. I've been sitting here waiting for you for half an hour. Woman's prerogative to be late. 
I was just doing your diva bit indoors. The what? Your diva bit. Diva? You're calling me a diva? Do you know what, honey? See you later. Take care, my love. You're off. I am. <laughs> ta -da. Gemma is an icon. If you dare call her a diva to her face, it's over. Call me a cab. It was like a revolving door. Gemma went in, came back out again. <laughs> it was never going to work anyway, so maybe it's a good thing that she was two hours late and he was pissed at his head. Absolute bellend. You've just proved my point, darling. Bonjour. My advice to the new batch of celebs that could potentially find themselves in a situation like I was with Terry would be to get out of there even quicker than I did. Four minutes was far too long. So there we have it. My most memorable dating moments so far and hopefully a set of valuable lessons for our new intake to learn from. Speaking of whom, the time has finally come to meet our new celebrity daters and get your exclusive first look as they begin their search for love. Oh. I have, like, massive phobia of ketchup. Illegal. Yeah, legal. Oh, yum, 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 yum. So that matters. Yes, exactly. I'm bored. Oh. Essex superwoman, Chloe Sims. Inside right now, my brain's shaking. Chloe Sims is going to smash Celebs Go Dating. She's that rare diamond. I so want Chloe to find love. She'll be one of the biggest challenges to the agents, but she will be the boss of every geezer who comes to her. She will let them know. Sugar babe, Mutia Buena. I love Mutia. She's an original, not the new sugar babe. She's the original, original sugar babe. And there isn't a man in the country that wouldn't want to date a sugar babe. I like a man that looks like he washes. Mutia is like a legend. I've got a feeling she's like a man eater. Made in Chelsea Romeo, Alec Alphas. My gorgeous friend Alec is doing the next series. I am so excited to see him because, gosh, he wears his heart on his sleeve. Well, you're very beautiful, you know. You're making me a bit nervous. I think people will fall in love with him. I think he's been unlucky at love. I think he used to go out with my sister for, for a, a couple of years, I think, actually. He's a passionate bloke. I like what you're wearing. This is fantastic. I feel like there's like not much to the imagination. Alec, he's so tanned, isn't he? And he really doesn't like buttons. What is all that about? Fashionista Vaz J. Morgan. This boy is a globe-trotting superhero. I'm not famous enough to talk to him. What? Vaz is a fashionista. He's definitely going to be high maintenance, but with us all, once our walls are broken down, who knows what they're going to find? I'm, like, really new to this, so it's really scary. I know I come across really confident and really, like, bullshy, but I, just, I am actually really scared about this. Love Island hottie, Olivia Atwood. Didn't leave. Didn't I watch. thought about it, but the, the window, the toilet was a bit stiff. She will whoo, make it hard work. I think she's going to be the Gemma Collins of this series. Uh. Sorry. She really is a force of nature, and I can't wait to see who they match her up with. Diversity star Sam Krask. Sam's quite fit. I think he'll get on really well. And also, girls love a guy that can dance. So even if he had no chat, just... You, you had a diversity? Oh, yeah. Thought you had diversity. I'm one of the boys from diversity, what? yeah. <laughs> Still with him. Love Island philosopher, E.L. Booker. I'm, I'm sitting it inside right now. He really is the tree-loving nature god that we all think he is. So I can't wait to see him woo these ladies with his tree chat lines. In another life, I was a monkey and, and then a lion. Gogglebox star, Amy Tapper. Amy from Gogglebox? How old is she, like 15? I've never done anything like this. I've never gone dating. I've never gone on a date. I think I'd be such a good girlfriend. And I'd be the weekend a cheeky boy Callum Izzard. Honestly, dying inside. I think Callum's going to bring the party to Celebs Go Dating. He might be a little bit naughty. Cheeky chap, if you know what I mean. If you come on holiday, yeah. 
Uh, you come to my hotel and I'm from start to finish going to cater for your needs, whatever they may be. I've got high hopes for some of them, but will I be disappointed? Will things go just swimmingly or will there be choppy waters? I would never answer that question. Next. Could some of these celebrities turn out to be naturals? You have to have strong morals and values. Or will they be freakishly bad at dating? Libras are not good for me. I'm sure they will all find love eventually. Tommy boy! Oh, oh my darling, I was just buffing your picture. Now I've got the genuine article. I've got a whole raft of delicious new celebrities, including your lovely cousin. Oh my God, my cousin Chloe's in the series. She is. Oh my God. Oh, I can't wait. No, no series. No, no, no series. series. No, no, no series. series. No, no, no series. series.